We are currently in the car. The lighting is atrocious because it is almost seven in the morning and it is definitely not light. I'm trying to use the light from the car to add a little bit of light, but there's still a lot of shadows. So this is the best I can do for now, but we are on our way to our market. It is an hour and like a half drive, an hour and a half drive. So that's gonna be fun, but I have the car all packed it is completely stuffed so we're gonna head over to that market and then get everything set up so i just got to the venue it is now 8 10 i think 8 15 i don't know <laughs> i forgot to look but i forgot so this is the same building that i was in when i had my horrific craft fair experience when there was like a tornado siren and a whole bunch of other things going on and you can find that video right up here if you want to check that out but it's not the same people running this event so this event has been going on for like 13 years or something like that and they said it's really busy the last event that i did was where it was horrific was put on by a different group of people so it was just a different craft fair altogether they just used this venue but i definitely had some ptsd flashbacks <laughs> so hopefully we don't repeat history and have that happen again <laughs> but i'm gonna take everything out of the car and start setting up We just finished our first day of the craft fair. It's now six o'clock, so it's like super dark outside, so the lighting is not very good. But for being a Friday and a weekday, it really was not that bad. I mean, the traffic was pretty slow, but it was still a pretty good day. I think my sales said that I made like $200, which is really not that bad for being a weekday. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be much, 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 much more busy because it's a Saturday, but I have high hopes for tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back and get some rest to maybe finish making one of the bags that I was making in the video that you saw earlier. I have an hour drive ahead of me, so <laughs> time to get started on that. And then I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. So it is day two and we are in the car getting ready to go. It's 7.44. So we should be there in about an hour and 20 minutes ish. It starts at nine and it goes till four. So I have everything that I kind of brought with me when I left yesterday. I also forgot to bring this guy when I uh, was bringing all my plushies and stuff. So 
we are bringing him and adding him to our setup because I definitely forgot about him. Here's to another long drive and hopefully a good market. <laughs> How are you? Good. Hi, how you doing? Hey. So it's been quite a few days since the market. I did want to tell you guys how much I made and what my best sellers were, but I did want to let you guys know a little rundown of how the market went. The first day, Friday, I actually sold more than I did on Saturday, and that was very surprising to me because I thought that Saturday was gonna be really, really busy because it's a weekend and that the weekday was gonna be the slow day, but it actually turned out that Friday was pretty busy and then Saturday was pretty dead. <laughs> which kind of stank, but it's okay. I still made some money. It wasn't as much tra foot traffic as I was hoping, but it is my best craft fair yet, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> now to get down to a rundown of how much I made. I made $358 in total for the two days at the market, and that's really, like I said, the best that I have done so far, so that's really awesome. And the best-selling item that I sold the most of was the mushroom poppets. So my little poppet guys were my best sellers. Everybody really loved them. Anytime I post any shorts or anything too, they really love them. It's such a cool pattern. And if you want to find that pattern, it is by Cable and Canvas on Etsy. And I think she also came out with a YouTube tutorial as well. So I will post those in the description box below if you want to check those out. That is everything for the market. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. And if you haven't noticed in the background, I have my new yarn cube set up with all of my yarn in it. I'm so excited. I have the video coming here shortly for you guys to see how this was made and then one on me organizing this thing because it took forever. So if you want to catch those be sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now!